bolts that one up. Why'd they replace the bolt? I could maybe say rewire. Well, I think that the, uh, the bolts are like, running off. Last Friday, the alarm sounded. We viewed the cameras and saw the break-in in progress. Viewed the cameras. How? How did, how did that all work? We do remote camera access, so when the alarm company called and said the alarm was sounded, we were able to look and see what was going on inside the store. It's kind of surprising that they uh, were so bold. Uh, it's not the first time, but this was definitely one of the bolder times. What makes it uh, kind of unique that you guys were able to capture? Um, the ability of the night vision cameras, the auto record, and the surveillance system made it easy to make sure somebody didn't just throw a brick through the window, but we had actually been burglarized. <laughs> These guys kind of kind of took their time, it looks like. I mean, they were, you know, especially going out the back door, they were going to gather a bunch of stuff. Yeah, they, they definitely took their time and had time to, to get whatever they needed. Um, the alarm sounded, and it looked like they were probably in here for a good five minutes. Okay, and, and how much did they make off with? Um, approximately $6,000 in merchandise. What kind of merchandise? Uh, mostly laptops and computer components, um, things that sell very easily at the local computer shows.